I'm going to take this real quick video tonight since we're working on another chainsaw. The uh, machine that we've got in front of us here is another one of those pool and, uh, you know, it's, what, what's that old saying? Uh, jump in the pool and then uh, get toweled off because you got hosed. Um, anyway, French Canadian saw. Uh, company was bought up by the same company uh, that is part of the Husqvarna group. Uh, these are all American built saws. These are there's no Swedish involved. There's no German involved. These are these are handmade on an assembly line down somewhere in Georgia in a non-union state um, by drunk Russians in dim light. <laughs> oh, that's a Yugo. Pardon me. Anyway, uh, these were good saws at the, at one time. It's a 46 cc powerhead. It says 20, but all that means is they put a 20 inch bar on it. And uh, anyway, so as you can plainly see, it was filthy, and I did a little bit of cleaning on it, used a few Q-tips along the way. The that flipper over here, yeah, the engine assembly itself still looks like new. So uh, I did install a new air filter. The, the gist of the entire project was that the carburetor was bad, the diaphragm was bad, the, the, the saw would no longer run because the owner was too cheap to buy premium fuel and good mixed uh, two-cycle oil. So eventually the E85 ethanol destroyed the diaphragm and then of course the typical problem with all two-cycle machines, regardless of how valuable they are, uh, was suffered on this saw. Interestingly enough, after I switched the carburetor over and went back and looked at the old carb, I discovered that somebody had been playing with the needles, and they were screwed out like four or five turns. Had I played with those needles, I probably wouldn't have had to put a new carburetor on here, but hindsight's twenty twenty, and I didn't have the tools where I was at. It was Christmas time, so new carburetor, properly set, saw runs like a rape tape. Uh, what else do we need to look at? Yeah, let's flip her over here. And you can plainly see, this is just a, these are just nothing more than Husqvarna saws in, in, in retrospect. This would be like the 141 or the 142, has the one piece chain brake cover. And uh, interestingly enough, on this machine, here's a couple things. I don't know if we can catch this with the camera. See that wobbling? Yeah. That crank bearing in there is shot, and this drum itself, I don't, I doubt that I'm going to be able to get a good picture of that, but it's chewed up to rat shit. It's the original. The saw is a refurbished saw to begin with, which means the engine took a crap when it came out of the box at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. I'm kicking stuff all over the place here. Anyway, um... Yeah, refurbished saw, which means that somebody bought this for $109.95, beat the dog snot out of it, and then took it back to Home Depot, and it got sent off, and they either got a credit or another saw. The reality of it is this saw was simply reconditioned. It's a 2007 uh, reconditioned date. So this saw is 10 years old. And... Well, the engine assembly still looks good. A, a lot of that is accredited to the fact that I scrubbed this thing with a toothbrush. And you, you know, you, you know that it's very cold here in Michigan, so my hot water in my shop was froze, so I actually took this and put it in my kitchen sink to finish it off with my dish master. So, the biggest question that everybody's asking is, what else am I going to do? Well, I'm going to put a chain catcher on it, because the chain catcher is crap. Um, I'm obviously going to replace the clutch, sprocket, drum, and bearing because there's no point in putting this saw back into service. That's dangerous. That's ready to that's ready to hurt somebody's feelings. I'm going to put another bar and chain on it because the original bar and chain is the the, the standard $12 black bar with the super low kickback, dulls in a heartbeat, and wouldn't cut a plastic straw chain and uh, that's about it. I've already had the sauce uh, running and I've cut with it then I've uh, finished up the cleaning. So, and, f and finally in some nation, I know everybody's asking, 
Chainsaw Doctor, why are you going to all this trouble if that saw is such a piece of shit? Well, it's pretty simple. It's my brother's saw, and I would never say no to my brother.